Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The portion for today's devotion is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5 verses 17 to 37. St. Matthew 5 17 to 37. Jesus after his temptation starts his teaching, preaching and healing ministry which is seen in chapter 4. In chapter 5 Jesus delivers the sermon on the mount and he teaches the crowd how to lead righteous way of life in relation to the law of Moses. Verses 22 to 24 says, "But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell therefore if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you leave your gift there in front of the altar first go and be reconciled to them then come and offer your gift i would like to highlight two points here first slow to anger quick to forgive This should be our goal. Always keep in mind to get angry as little as possible and forgive as often as possible. Showing anger is just like piercing nails into the fence and removing those nails right after that. What do we see now? The fence without nails. But the holes still remain. Saying sorry just after showing anger might seem fine, but deep in it in the heart the scar is still there second the need for reconciliation when does repentance become real mere confession is not enough one must be ready to correct oneself otherwise be ready to ask for the forgiveness of those whom we have wronged there may arise difference of opinion and cause of quarrel among neighbors Satan triumphs in all such situations. His mission is to cause feud and division. But the spirit of God creates and maintains unity and fellowship. Therefore, the children of God must be inspired by the spirit to rise above such quarrels and difference of opinion. In this period of Lent, let us forgive and reconcile and be viewed in the light of our oneness with Christ. be it in a relation between husband and wife parents and children or between siblings amen